think it's at least four or five dozen. Four dozen, pretty confident. We're back to this marsh we've been looking at the past few days. Our buddy Evan said he's been watching as well. The problem is, as you can see out there, there's absolutely nowhere to hide. But the ducks are definitely out there. There's more than we even thought because, you know, they're all in the grass doing teal things. But this is definitely looking like the best bet for in the morning. And we're really about to study this thing now, look at it from a lot of different angles, possibly walk in on it from different angles to see where our best bet to set up the A-frames or the panel line is going to be. I mean, that's going to be the tricky thing here is figuring out the hide. So that's the goal here. We're just going to try to figure out and do this the best we can uh, with, with the information we got. We've never actually walked out there, so some of it we'll have to figure out in the morning. But there's plenty of birds using it. Could be good. As I said earlier, we found those ducks that are going to be a hard hide. So uh, we come out this afternoon just riding around looking in the ditches and we're about to cut lots of green stuff to put on these panel blinds. The key to getting hit is just breaking up the outlines. So we're gonna to try to get a good variety of stuff and break up the outline as much as possible. This is what we found so far. They just start getting it, taking it out. spots when you're doing something like this it's, it's more key to break up the outline than anything you just don't want a shape out there you know you want to break up all the sides and corners and outlines that you can and I think this is a really good start and we can we can gather some more in the morning I mean we'll be sitting on buckets and it should be should be a good deal we finally made it out here it's pretty warm this morning but we've been watching this area for about two or three days now brushed off the blinds yesterday as you've seen and we set up on the dry spot in between the two uh, we had some other people come in on us this morning uh, but we decided just to hunt together that's always better than trying to compete or or just working against each other just work together but we've got three panel blinds set up we have no idea how this is going to work but hopefully they'll just suck in on the mojos and we'll get it done let's get with it Swimming. 
No, 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 no. Don't. Moose. Don't. We got like four so far, it's working out. Several have seen us, but several have done right. They're kind of swooping in weird. They're trying to come in over us and then come back behind the blind, which is not what we need them to do. But it's a pretty morning out here on the prairie and there ain't much else I'd rather be doing, so I'm happy with it. What you guys think about it? Doing it right when they are, but keep swinging behind us and we just need to be opportunistic when it comes yeah. to shot opportunity. Yeah, it's definitely not optimal, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh. Big. Hey, hey. The shovelers. Back ones. Moose. We got three. About the same speed. That's not too bad. Be walking. Have somebody come back out of the decoys. I'll take that. Three. Dead. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. That was a good eye. I was doubting you, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> We got four out of there. We got one sitting in here. We go, here we go. And Alan, after moving the mojos, they've done right. Yeah, that, that seemed to help a lot. The last three reached since we moved them, swung in front of the line. I think it kind of got the attention off of us and more so over there. Yeah, last three two's like swung straight in front of the line. Right. Good move. We get another one? Three green wings. Well, I think we got 11 now after that last group. It's panning out. It's a lot better than what it could be, especially sticking out here in the wide open like we are. We moved the mojos spinners whatever you want to call them and the last two groups after that uh, have done a lot better so and the sun's got up it's hitting the mojos and um, the last two groups have done right so maybe we'll get a few more groups and keep scratching them out that was such a good time I had such a great time with those guys i had no idea how the panel blinds were going to work i was pretty pleasantly surprised by it we definitely had a few groups um you know at squirrely early but i think that had a lot to do with the spinners one of them you know had a wing 
ring that was messed up it didn't the flash didn't look right and once we moved the mojos uh the two following groups did great and it was much lighter than it was early so i think it had more to do with the spinners than it did the blind they seemed to not pay any attention to it some even flew behind us uh which is the weakness of a panel blind <clears throat> they didn't get messed up by it at all really um, now would big ducks act the same way you know especially mallards later in the season probably not i'd probably want a, a highly brushed in a-frame but what you really needed in this location were layouts uh, there was just no cover whatsoever all the grass and stuff was like ankle high that's just a tough hide no matter what what the situation is so but i think it worked out i think our hard work paid off we only got 11 but it was it was a good 11 you know it was good groups and it was fun and and we got to hunt with an awesome dog moose was awesome his trainer jake um great name by the way he's an awesome trainer awesome dude him and his wife they were fun to hunt with evan and chandler they were great to hunt with it was just really fun it's always great when you get to hunt with a good dog jake actually trains retrievers i linked his instagram down below you can check him out if you want to but it was just a fun hunt i hope you enjoyed it we got more on the way from this teal trip it's been it's been such a good time and stay tuned because we're going to keep rolling out the teal videos i love you and lord willing i'll catch you next time right here on chasing green He's